sometimes non-cooperation becomes as much a duty as cooperation. Gandhi, Young India, January 19th, 1921. This is the essential theoretical underpinning of nonviolent resistance. And it goes all the way back to some uh, Renaissance thinkers in Europe and way back further than that in other cultures. And it's critical for us to realize with all of the brouhaha about loyalty and patriotism that what we are loyal to, what we should be loyal to, is the truth, not to any system or regime or people. And so that means that, of course, once we're embodied in a physical world, it means a balance between rejecting what's wrong and accepting what's right. Both are equally important. And he developed the way to resist what's wrong without adding to wrongness. That is the enabling genius of nonviolence. <laughs> 